Hey there, LEGO fans. Welcome back. Alex here. In this video, we are going to be doing a build and review of the new LEGO Creator 3-in-1 Beach Camper Van. This is set number 31138, contains 556 pieces, and will retail for $50. US We'll start off with a time-lapse build of this thing. Now, there are three different models here, and I do want to represent each one in this video, so we're going to be doing a lot of building. Well, it's going to be a lot of building for me. It'll be pretty quick for you. Uh, what we'll do, though, is make sure that we end on the main model, which is the camper van, and at that point, we'll take it downstairs and see if we can find a spot for it in the city. So let's go ahead and get started. And we are back. We have the first alternative build, which is the smallest of the three. Now, first, before I get into the build, look at all of the extra pieces that I have out here with this thing, because this is going to be very typical of a creator three in one set. When you build one of the alternative models, you're not going to use anywhere near the entire amount of Lego pieces. So just be aware that you're going to have a lot of pieces left over. Also, with the alternative models, you do not have the luxury of going through the individual bags that are numbered one, two, three. And you have to actually open them all up and dump them all out at once because you could have pieces that could belong to all three sections. So that is a huge drawback, unfortunately. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this build here. So this alternative build is the smallest of the three. Uh, it is very simple. It looks like it's just an ice cream shop, which is really nice. There's a little place for people to sit uh, at the very top of this thing. I do like the... Uh, the ice cream cone there, the marquee ice cream cone at the top there. I think that's a pretty clever thing. And on that little palm tree there on the side is a nice touch as well. We also do get a car. This is a little buggy. I'm not a fan of the creator looks of vehicles. I mean, for what it is, it's fine. But I don't think anybody's going to spend $50 on this set just to build this very small alternative build. Now, with Creator 3 one sets, obviously, most people are buying it for the main model. Now, in all of my many years of collecting, and I have a lot of LEGO Creator 3 one sets, there's only been one time in my history that I bought a Creator set for the purpose of building an alternative build. I think it was called Model Town house back in 2007 and I bought that because it had an alternative build as the school and I needed a school in my Lego city. That is the only time that I bought a creator set for the alternative build. Now, before we move on to the next alternative build, let's take a look at the minifigures here. There are two minifigures with this, a guy and a gal, and I love this guy's hairdo. Look at that big, massive, poofy hair. It reminds me of those 1980s rock bands, doesn't it? Uh, now, they do have reversible faces, so we can uh, switch those out, and uh, that adds a little bit of fun there. I do like their outfits. I think their outfits are very appropriate for the activities at hand. So let's get started on the next alternative build, which looks like it's going to be a cute little beach house. I uh, want to also mention that you cannot have two out of the three models built at the same time. We will have to disassemble our cute little ice cream shop here in order to build our beach house. So let's go ahead and get started. And we are back with alternative build number two, which is this very compact and small beach house. Now, as an alternative build, this is very nice. It's got a lot of great features in it, and it actually does utilize more pieces. However, once again, I do have quite a pile of Lego pieces left over. And I know you're all thinking, Alex, yeah, that's the point of these creator sets. You're going to have pieces left over. I totally understand that. But as a Lego collector myself, when I buy a Lego set, in this case, it's $50. I expect to have a $50 Lego set at 
the end of my build. What I have here is a $30 Lego set and maybe $20 worth of bulk Lego that's probably going to get lost almost immediately. And if you're that kind of, uh, of builder, th that's great, fantastic. And I know people love these creator sets, especially if you're buying them as gifts because you see it as, oh, hey, uh, this person I'm buying it for is gonna have uh, an option of three different builds, and that's fantastic, and that's great value. I'm just saying from my perspective, uh, a lot of the value that I derive is building the main set. And speaking of which, guys, let's do that now. And we are back, and here it is, guys. Finally, the beach camper van is complete. Now, with these creator sets, I always find it funny uh, how they put together these critters. Now, normal Lego sets, they have a single mold uh, critter, animal, or bird. In this case, you actually build them out of Lego bricks. So we have what looks to be a seagull that is in flight. We also have this crab. I wasn't sure what this is uh, or what this is when I was building it until I put the cherry on it. I thought, oh my goodness, this is a crab, and they've used a cherry element as its eyes. I thought that was so creative. We also get this massive floaty uh, that is a big rubber ducky, and I think that's gonna look fantastic floating down the river uh, in my city. And that fits nicely on the roof of the bus itself. Uh, as well as a couple of little kayaks. Now these kayaks aren't really made for mini figures to be sitting on, um, but uh, they are definitely there uh, more for looks. Uh, but I think that's really cool that they added those there as well. Now, as far as the build goes, let's take a look here at these little huts, these little beach huts here. Uh, these are gonna be the bathroom and changing room. I think this is a fantastic thing to have uh, in this set. And I'm really looking forward to actually putting this in my beach in my Lego city, because I think that is something that is very much needed in that particular area. Now let's take a look at the bus itself. And I think it's important to always point out with these creator sets is that these are more uh, to the scale of a minifigure than your typical uh, Lego city set. These things are very big and I think have a very difficult time time fitting into your average size Lego city. These are more on the scale of your speed champions that are the eight stud wide speed champions. So this thing is big. I mean, this thing is actually bigger than city buses in my Lego city. Uh, so it's gonna be kind of hard. It'll stick out, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So uh, we'll, we'll see what it looks like, but it probably won't be a permanent <laughs> camper in my uh, city. But this thing is pretty cool. I mean, as far as the out, uh, outside feature of this thing, it's a very clean look. I love the yellow base of it and the white top of this thing. Uh, it does have enough room here uh, to fit both of our minifigures in the front to drive around in a very comfortable area there. Uh, we also have uh, some things that open up here. You can open up the front of the bus there and we can kind of see some elements of a radiator it looks like there. Uh, we also have one door that we can open up here on the side and that reveals the interior there, which the interior space looks really nice, very cozy. Uh, I think it makes good use of the room in there with that uh, kitchen area, uh, TV, and this eating area in the back, which also looks like it's a uh, bedding area. So I guess you're eating where you're sleeping there as well, but you can lift that table up there uh, and you've got some room there to uh, take a nap. So that is gonna be my review of the new beach camper van and its alternative builds. This one, of course, being my favorite, but I gotta say, I am a bit biased, but that's okay. Again, this will be available as of March 1st from legoshop.com as well as Lego stores. Again, it will retail for 50 US dollars. And of course, wanna give a big thanks to the Lego group in providing me this early copy for review. It is now time though, to take this thing downstairs and see if we can make it blend into the city. All right, we made our way downstairs. I think it's gonna be pretty obvious where we've put our beach camper van, and that's gonna be near the beach, but there's a little bit of a twist. So first of all, uh, the, uh, the little huts are right here at the edge of the beach. I think that was a good spot for them. They fit pretty well. I think they are going to service the beach patrons quite well. We also have our lady right there hanging out, uh, floating on the big inflatable rubber ducky there in the river. I think she looks pretty happy there. And as far as the bus, I was about ready to just say, I 
can't fit it. It's not going to work. It's just too darn big. But you know what? I looked over there by the old fishing store, right next door to it. Let me see if I can come over here and reach across. There was a little empty spot right there. And I thought, you know what? That, I think, is a good spot for our camper van. So there it is, kind of hanging out there by the old fishing store. I'm not sure how they're going to get out of there or even how they got there in the first place, uh, but uh, I think that was a good spot for it. So that is where uh, we have placed it. I'm really happy I was able to get it in the city because, uh, like I said before, uh, the uh, creator sets are, are really large. So here's one uh, with a vehicle and a trailer, and it's just too big to put in the city. So it's over here with all of the uh, speed champions because it's just kind of that size. These are all just kind of too big uh, to put in the city. So they're over here in this big a very expensive uh, parking lot uh, adjacent to the city. So anyway, guys, yeah, that is the uh, end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think about this set. And we'll have some more here in the near future. As always, you guys have a fantastic day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.